ever feel like your money just slips through your fingers? You work hard, earn a decent living, but at the end of the month, you're left wondering where it all went. You're not alone. Millions of people struggle with managing their finances, feeling overwhelmed, and powerless. But it doesn't have to be this way. Today, I'm going to show you how to be intentional with your money and take control of your financial future. It's time to stop feeling like a passenger in your own financial journey. You have the power to steer your money in the right direction, to make choices that align with your values and goals. It all starts with a simple decision, the decision to be intentional. Let's be honest, managing your money can seem about as exciting as watching paint dry. But trust me, taking control of your finances is one of the most empowering things you can do for yourself and your family. It's about creating a life where you have the freedom to pursue your dreams, big or small. Being intentional with your money is like having a roadmap for your finances. It means you're not just wandering aimlessly, hoping for the best. You have a destination in mind, and you're making conscious choices to get there. It means understanding where your money is going, why it's going there, and whether it's truly serving your best interests. It's about making decisions that align with your values and goals, rather than simply reacting to impulses or external pressures. Think about it, when you're intentional with your time, you're more productive and fulfilled. You plan your days, prioritize tasks, and make sure you're spending time on what truly matters. The same principle applies to your money. By being intentional, you can make your money work harder for you, helping you achieve your goals and live a more fulfilling life. Let's talk about setting financial goals. It's like setting a destination on your GPS. Without a clear destination in mind, you'll just end up driving in circles. Your goal should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Do you want to buy a house, pay off debt, retire early? These are all fantastic goals, but they won't magically happen on their own. You need to break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. For example, if your goal is to buy a house in five years, determine how much of a down payment you need and start saving a specific amount each month. Remember, even small steps taken consistently can lead to remarkable results over time. Now, let's talk about budgeting. I know, I know, the dreaded B word, but hold on. A budget isn't about depriving yourself or living like a monk. It's about taking control and making your money work for you. A budget is simply a plan for your money. It helps you track your income and expenses so you can see where your money is going. This awareness is crucial for making informed decisions about your spending. There are tons of budgeting methods out there. So find one that works for you. The key is to be consistent and honest with yourself. Remember, a budget is a living document. Life throws curveballs, and your budget should be flexible enough to adapt. Mindful spending. Making every dollar count. Mindful spending is about being aware of your spending habits and making conscious choices about where your money goes. It's about asking yourself, do I really need this before you buy it? It means taking a moment to pause and consider the value of your purchases. One of the biggest culprits of mindless spending is impulse buying. We've all been there, scrolling through social media, seeing an ad for something we just have to have, and clicking that buy now button without a second thought but here's the thing those impulse buys can really add up over time derailing even the most well-intentioned budget 
Before you swipe your card, ask yourself, is this purchase aligned with my values and goals? Will it truly bring me joy or solve a problem in my life? Or am I just giving in to a fleeting desire? Reviewing and adjusting. Keeping your finances on track. Remember that budget we talked about? It's not something you create once and then forget about. Think of it as a living document that needs regular checkups. Life is full of surprises and your financial situation can change just as quickly. Take a look at your spending, your income, and your progress toward your goals. Are you on track or do you need to make some adjustments? Don't be afraid to tweak your budget, adjust your savings, goals, or find creative ways to reduce your expenses. The key is to stay engaged with your finances and make adjustments as needed. It's like fine tuning a recipe. You keep experimenting and making small changes until you find the perfect balance. Aligning spending with your values. Now, let's talk about aligning your spending with your values. Your values are the things that are most important to you in life. They guide your decisions and shape your priorities. When your spending aligns with your values, you'll find that you feel more fulfilled and content with your financial decisions. Make a list of your top three to five values. Are you passionate about sustainability? Are you passionate about education? Are you passionate about experiences? Once you've identified your core values, look for ways to align your spending with those values. For example, if you value experiences over material possessions, you might choose to spend less on clothes and more on travel or concerts. The power of small changes. Here's the good news. You don't need to make drastic changes overnight to see a difference in your finances. Start by identifying one or two small changes you can make today. It could be as simple as packing your lunch instead of eating out every day or cutting back on your daily latte habit. You might be surprised at how much you can save over time by making these small adjustments. Remember, personal finance is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making consistent, sustainable changes that will serve you well in the long run. And here's the best part. As you start to see progress, it creates a snowball effect. You'll be more motivated to continue making positive changes and your financial well-being will continue to grow. Take charge of your financial future. Congratulations on taking this important step towards financial empowerment. Remember, being intentional with your money isn't about deprivation. It's about freedom. It's about designing a life you love, one where you have the resources to pursue your passions, support your loved ones, and make a difference in the world. You have the power to create a brighter financial future for yourself. It all starts with a simple decision, the decision to be intentional. So take a deep breath, believe in yourself, and start taking control of your financial journey today.